hello there and in this video we'll turn a basic lock drum sounding like this to that of the pros and make an armor piano beat out of it with that being said let's jump straight into the video let's set our bpm to 112 make a simple drum pattern Add some hi hats. Shake it. Okay, this sound you alright. Then the tremolo sound comes in. From here we can add a lead from flex. A simple chord progression Now it's time for the lock drum I'll load 3 instances of Fruity D Extend Go into the preset tab and select lock drum I want my log drum fat so I'll increase the decay time. Play with the modulation parameters to give it more attack. From here I'll record the log drum pattern. This is not sounding great so I'll adjust it manually and add some filling notes. Control Q to quarantize and then listen closely and add more notes. With the next Fruity DS10, we will choose the Jazz Piano preset, tweak it until it sounds like you are striking two sticks against each other. What we are doing here is that we are trying to imitate the initial hit when you strike the stick against a log drum. Okay, this sounds okay. So we layer the log drum pattern.
Now you can hear all the attack the stick like pattern brings to it. Lastly, we layer it with a sub base. Now we route all three into separate mixer channel. Route back into one mixer channel. Now we will side chain the log ground to the kick. The science behind this is that when you stack up more bass instrument together, it tends to sound muddy because the vibration from the bass instrument is a lot slower and it brings all the rumbling to your speaker at once. But with high frequencies, you can stack up more instruments, like waveforms move a lot faster and reaches your ear at different timing in milliseconds. That's why we sidechain kick and bass, but not hi-hat and open hat. vocal sample from here it's just vibes and adding more vibes Yeah, so we can leave with this for a tutorial. Thanks for watching and then see you in the next video. Peace.